Spyro Reignited Trilogy Flies to Game Pass. Today, Microsoft announced that Spyro Reignited Trilogy will be available on Game Pass starting tomorrow across all tiers, including the base Game Pass standard, previously known as Xbox Live Gold. Insider Xtas 1s shared a rumor that the Spyro Reignited Trilogy and Crash Bandicoot 10. Sane Trilogy would join Game Pass in August. We're three months later, but the Little Dragons Remastered Adventures are finally here. The game collection was originally released six years ago for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and our Francesco Demio showered it with praise, except for some technical issues. The Spyro Reignited Trilogy doesn't just play great but also looks great. Graphics have been redone from scratch, and they make the game almost look like a Pixar movie, with excellent animations and colorful, detailed locations. Sadly, performance isn't as great. The game runs at 30 FPS on the original PlayStation 4 model, and there are some evident frame pacing issues. The frame rate also drops here and there, so the experience isn't always too smooth. The soundtrack can also be a bit hit and miss, especially the dynamic soundtrack, but it's also possible to play through the game with the original music from the PlayStation games. Voice acting, on the other hand, is spot on at all times. With the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, toys for Bob and Activision have shown how a proper remaster should be developed. All three games are incredibly faithful to the original releases, and the few additions make everything here and better. If it weren't for the technical issues plaguing the collection, the Spyro Reignited Trilo G would probably be the best remaster ever released so far. Those problems shouldn't be too prevalent on the way more powerful Xbox Series S vertical bar X and PC hardware where Game Pass users will check out the trilogy, though.